3rd of March, 2023. Plus the camera can't focus too well. But apparently there we have, get it back out to one exact zoom. It's supposed to be Jupiter and Venus. Probably should have tried to film this just a little bit earlier. Oh well. As you can see, they're pretty low in the western sky here. So it's about not quite 8 pm. Haven't been able to see it the last couple of nights because the um, sky's been too overcast. So if I zoom back out to one point north and just swing around a bit. Might be able to see a few other things in the sky, like the moon. It's waxing quite dramatically now. Maybe if I point up at the stars, sometimes we can see some little flecks. If we're lucky. That right there. Zooming in won't help. Or will it? There it is. Orion's belt. Wait, is there a fourth star? Is there a fourth star? No, I'm just tripping. So anyway, the Southern Cross, from my perspective, is the other side of the shed and I don't feel like walking around there. There we go, the near alignment of Venus and Jupiter. If I had a decent camera, I really should get a decent camera one of these days. You can see it in some pictures other people have taken. Is that Venus shows phases. And sometimes, just sometimes, it makes me wonder if it's not Venus reflecting the moon or if it's that star next to it right there, you see that? I think it's that star myself, often mistaken for Venus, but Venus does have phases. So that's something that needs to be taken into consideration, doesn't mean anything. But if we consider the star tetrahedron sky, and the moon is in the lower star, so it's not another star at all, it's just... Yeah, there, you can still see the star there, it is still there couple of them now. Um, yeah, that if the moon is beneath or within the star tetrahedron, while the stars are above it, then that will put the moon in a completely different place from where it actually is. Nice view. Anyway, time I got some sleep. 